Determine the air standard efficiency of an engine operating on the diesel cycle with a clearance of 6%. Okay, that sounds like our C. 6%. When the suction pressure is 99.7, that's P1. And the fuel is injected for 7% of the stroke. So whenever there's a percent of the stroke, that usually refers to the percent cutoff, which is 0 0.07 or 7%. Assume K is equal to 1.4. And it looks like we need to determine the air standard efficiency, also known as the cycle efficiency in percent. So again, here's our diesel cycle diagram. It's always a good idea to have this at the back of your mind when solving anything diesel related. But there are two ways to find our cycle efficiency. First one is rather straightforward. You just divide net work by heat added. But as you can see, we don't actually have enough information to get either the work net or the heat um, added. So we have to use this monstrosity of an equation to find it. It's K or sub C minus 1. times 1 over r sub k raised to k minus 1. Now for this, we can actually find our cutoff ratio and also our compression ratio. I'll show you how to do that. We know that c, or clearance, is equal to 1 over r sub k minus 1. We know our C. So we can just direct substitute that in our calculator. It's one zero point six zero point zero six rather. One over R sub K minus one. And yeah, we get an R sub K of 17.67 and we can do the same for our percent cutoff which is given by C plus CO over C so sorry this is supposed to be R sub C okay now it's correct we know these so again direct substitution in our calculator 0 0.06 0 0.07 0 0.06 again and we get 2.17 as our cutoff ratio now we can simply start putting our values in E is equal to 1 minus our R sub C is 2.17. K is 1.4. K is 1.4 again. Sub C minus 1. And uh, 1 over R sub K, 17.67. Uh, raised to k minus 1. Now we put that in our calculator. Move down and minus 1. 2.17 minus 1. And finally 1 over 17.67 raised to 1 point four minus 1. And we get 
62.1%. A is the closest, so that is our final answer. I hope this helped you. That is it for this first batch of questions. I likely won't be uploading the next batch because I still have to answer them myself. And I will be working on completing my formula sheets, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, good luck and stay safe, future engineers. Thanks and goodbye for now.